All right, uh, so we're going to talk about the microscope this week. So to get you guys introduced to the microscope, you're going to do a little bit of homework for me tonight. Uh, so a little bit of introduction, right? We're going to look over three parts of the microscope. We're going to look at first care of the microscope, probably the most important thing. These things are expensive. We need to be able to take care of them. Then we're going to look over the parts of the microscope and then look over focusing, which is the main part of the microscope, trying to make sure you can focus on objects and be able to have fun with them. So first and foremost, the being able to take care of the microscope. First and foremost, always carry the microscope with two hands. Only use uh, lens paper for cleaning and I'll have some you know paper towels or whatever in there for you guys to clean with. Never clean with the you know the tail of your shirt or anything like that or your fingers. Do not force the knobs. If the knobs are not going or if it's broken you need to contact me first and let me know. Always store covered. Right? Make sure where you're always putting the cover on especially at the end of the day for those classes there. Keep objects clear of desk and cords. Whenever we use these, we're going to make sure our entire work area is picked up, cleaned, everything. All right, now let's look at the parts of the microscope. Right up here at the top, you have your eyepiece. Coming down from there, you have what's called the body tube. Then you have a revolving nose piece. This is where you will go from high objectives to low objective lenses and being able to see things a little bit closer, focus in on things. Below that you have what are called the objective lenses and there's three of them on a typical microscope like the ones that we'll use in class. Then you have the arm. Typically the arm is where you will hold one hand on a microscope and down here this part of it is where you'll hold the base is where you'll have your other hand, always carrying it with two hands. Then you have a stage. It's kind of like the specimen that you put underneath it is going on stage to perform for you or to be seen for you. Then you have your stage clips. You always, 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 when you put a slide on the stage, you always use the stage clips. You want it to be able to stay in place, and that's just in case you have an accident, like your elbow bumps it. You don't want to have to focus in and find the object again whenever you originally had it. Then you have two different knobs. You have a coarse focus knob and a fine focus knob. So the coarse focus knob is going to move this stage considerably. It's going to move it a lot. The fine focus knob is only going to move it a little bit to be able to that you use the fine focus knob when you're on the high objective lens. When you're using the coarse of coarse focus knob, you never, ever, ever, this will be a question on the quiz, you never use the high power when you're using the coarse focus. It could easily break the lens on here or break your slide. And you have your base, like we mentioned earlier. You have what's called a diaphragm. And then you have your light or your light source. And what this diaphragm is going to do, if I can go back to that, is it's actually going to be what sort of focuses the light right up there to it to be able to be used to come out of that little area. So make sure you jot some of these down. You can make a nice little picture if you want to of that and draw your arrows for what needs to be because that will this will definitely be on the quiz and you won't have to name all of these but you'll at least be able to you're going to at least have to be able to name some of them <coughs> excuse me using the microscope a couple of things to remember place a slide on the microscope use the stage clips very very important Click the nose piece to the lowest, or the, if you forget what that is, the shortest setting, so the shortest objective lens on there. Look into the eyepiece. Use the coarse focus. 
using high power. So whenever we want to really focus on something that's very microscopic. Following steps or follow steps to focus using low power. As was mentioned on the previous slide. Click the nose piece to the longest objective. Do not, notice knots in red, capitalize. Do not use the coarse focusing knob. Never use the coarse focusing knob whenever you are using high power. Again, it could easily break something. Use the fine focus knob to bring the slide. And there you go. So tomorrow will be you'll be able to use your notes that you've taken over this to take a short little quiz at the beginning of class. We'll go over a little bit of how to make a slide and everything like that. And Wednesday, we'll be going into the lab to actually get our hands on some of these things and use them.